So what is this upcoming auction that we have all these items here for? Really exciting on January 6th, for the first time ever, I have a slab only auction uh, in addition to the regular auction. About 200 lots of PSA DNA certified slabs and including things like Thomas Jefferson, a near mint seven, all addressed in his hand. How about U.S. Grant? There's the signature, a beautiful engraving. That's nice. Yeah, I love this one. It really speaks to me. It just pops right out. This is a really interesting civil rights item. So here's the first day stamp of Martin Luther King. And this envelope is actually signed by his father, Martin Luther King Sr. and Rosa Parks. So it ties two civil rights people together. I got a 7.5. Yep. It's pretty good. It's cool. Great item. Uh, one of my favorites in history is Alexander Hamilton. And this item has a full Alexander Hamilton signature, which you never encounter. You always see an abbreviation of his signature. And it's from the Treasury Department. Great item. Really nice. And that got a 7, too. Yep. Here's the one with a little bit of a higher grade. Zachary Taylor. Look at that beautiful signature, it just pops right out, and that's a nine, mint nine. This is one of my favorites in the auction, Albert Einstein. Cool. Yeah, and you got a, also a full signature, and this is all written by him, and this is a candid photo of him when he was on the Hamburg American Line. Nuts. Do you think that photo was there when he signed it, or do you think it was put on after? I, I have a feeling that it could have been there based on the spacing of everything and this is stationary and maybe this person came to him and asked him to sign it alongside the photo. Super cool. Uh, another civil rights item, Rosa Parks talking about the Montgomery bus boycott and this one is the magic number, number 10. Gem Mint, yep. there we go. You really don't see it too often on that kind of stuff. Very unusual. And for your sports fans, there are a few sports items, but again, the point of this auction is it's almost entirely historical. But here's a nice satchel page and a Hall of Fame card. This is another, this is an eight, but another Einstein. Um, this one is him receiving a degree and he signs in the lower right. Really cool. Beautiful signature. One of my favorites, George Washington. The goat. Yep. <laughs> and what I like about this is it's to Henry Knox of Fort Knox fame. And that makes it pretty important because the recipient of this letter was an important person himself. Muhammad Ali, a gem mint 10, signed photo. Here we have another 10, John Quincy Adams. Beautiful signature, beautiful envelope. And he's an important president and did some interesting things as well. How common are 10s on Adams? I've never seen another 10 on this. This is the only one I've ever seen. Wow. So here's uh, William Henry Harrison, president for only a month. And a beautiful signed envelope. He wrote this whole thing out. And it's written to Benjamin Harrison. He had a grandson that was named Benjamin Harrison that was president, but that's not him. This is a different relative. Cool. Another Lincoln. This Lincoln is an ALS from Lincoln's beloved Springfield. From 1852. Yep, an early letter. And this too will be in the auction. Very nice, and then last but not least. Martin Luther King. This is uh, a photo of him in Washington for the famous speech, beautiful signature. Mint nine. Yep. Really nice. Such a good photo. It's lovely. Sign, yeah. Really lovely. Do we know how this person got it signed? or? 
Well, I, I believe that this signature comes at a different time than the actual photo. Gotcha. Yep. Cool. Very exciting auction. These are just some of the items, right? Just some. There'll be approximately 200 items. Our regular auction has a real diverse group of items that will be um, everything from A to Z. And then it's followed with a sh short break by the slabs only auction. And where do people go to find all these items in the auction? UniversityArchives.com. Amazing.